Hello there. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, my name is B. I'm August. I'm Ajane. Kiana. And we are from Burke High School. And this poem is titled Parentify. Why haven't you done your homework yet? <sighs> okay. so Stay okay. home this weekend. I need you to watch your brother while I'm at work. Clean the kitchen. Okay. Do the laundry. Yes. Start dinner. Yes. Help your brother. Yes. 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 I don't care yes. how you do it. Just get it done. You know what? I brought you in this world, and I can take you out. The words bury me in a landslide of frustration. Do I speak up or shut up? Stand up or fall back, fight, fight back, back or walk, walk away. I have a smart remark ready to fire back, but fear caused my words to misfire and lodge in the back of my throat. I stare at the ground as the pain from my chest escapes through my tear ducts and slides down my cheek. Stop crying before I give you something to cry about. Grow, grow up. up! Grow up? You had me at 17. How can you tell me to grow up when you're still growing up with me? You planted a seed and neglected to nurture it. You gave it nothing to dig its roots into except soil lacking in love. As, As if a flower could just grow, grow up from disappointment and loneliness. I grew up on nothing. My brother deserves so much more than you gave me. I vowed to be there even when you weren't. I could still hear my piggy bake breaking the first time he asked me to buy him a new pair of shoes. I remember his infectious giggles echoed through the theater as we took our seats for his first movie. And at every award ceremony, there's a seat reserved with my name. The gaping hole you left in my chest is filled with pride when he walks across the stage with, with two, two strong, strong legs, legs and a sharp mind stemming from, from good roots. Did I birth this child? I can't tell the difference anymore. When I was younger, I wanted to be a soldier, rock star, caregiver, a counselor, teacher, doctor, not, not the parent you failed to be. I wanted to save lives, not raise one. An absence of nursery rhymes, sweet bedtime stories, and soothing lullabies were the first goodbyes. Weekend adventures with my friends turned into late night blanket forts and spaghetti dinners. After school activities were replaced with running home to him, worried he'd be left alone too long. Coffee became the new water. Midnight was my bedtime, and homework came after goodnight kisses. When I think about leaving, I see the image of my brother in my rearview mirror, kind eyes and a childlike smile, a face that looks too much like mine. I hit the brakes. How can I leave him in a place I've suffered for so long? I'm forced to make a choice that shouldn't even exist. My world shouldn't have to start and stop with the life I built around him. But one day, I will live for myself, and maybe he won't remember why it was my bed he slept in after a nightmare. Or my lips on his forehead to check his temperature every time he was sick. Or how it was my hands holding his when you left in the arms of a stranger. But I won't neglect him the way you neglected me. The vital sunshine he needs is left in the shoes I bought him. All the love I can give him is forever captured in the soil I raised him from. And I'll be damned if he's ever broken by the words I brought you in this world, and I can take you out.